Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I've been making homemade oat milk for Dash. Since we realized he has a, what's, what is it called? His unique digestive profile and his human design means he does the best when he has one food at a time. So baby formulas, mixed ingredient things are too heavy for him, especially animal protein. So we were trying like a goat's milk formula to help supplement my breast milk, but we're going with oats. So you can use this if you just wanna make your own oat milk. It's really creamy. I actually really, really like it. So we've been starting to use it just for ourselves too. So here's what we start with. One Degree makes this huge bag of sprouted oats and I get this at Costco, but they also are sold in like regular sizes in the health food stores. So I took this just plain oats, put it in my mason jar and filled it like three fourths of the way or seven eighths of the way and then covered it in clean filtered water and let it soak overnight in my refrigerator. So now I'm just going to rinse it off a little bit and then add more clean water, probably one or two jar, jars full, I'll show you, in my Vitamix and then blend it up and then strain it, I'll show you the rest. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of organic vanilla bean paste. Make it a little sweet. Gosh, I'm almost out of this. Ooh. There we go. And then a pinch of Himalayan sea salt. And then blend. This is what it looks like just after blending. So you you could just drink it like this, but it will be a little bit gritty. And since we're putting it through a bottle, sometimes it needs to be thinner, a thinner consistency so that it goes through the little holes of the bottle. So now all you need to do is get a pitcher, get a nut milk bag, fold it over the top, Pour it in and then we'll squeeze it all the way out. Okay, so it's starting to drip through the bottom. But this is where you use your muscles and your hands will get really soft. I'm gonna take off my ring because oats are so creamy. Like, look at this, oh my gosh. It takes a little while. And then what you're left with is this like oat paste that you can use to make pancakes or cookies, which I did last time. So that took me like five minutes of solid squishing and it came out to about this much. So I'd say it was probably two cups of oats soaked and they expand and you get this paste, whoa, just fell out. That is pretty, you know, much just the oats. And this is what I use to make these little cookie pancakes. So that is useful or you can toss it, whatever you wanna do. Now, because this is, whoa, that was close. Because this is for Dash, I'm gonna pour um, some in the mason jar for him and just keep it like it is, super plain. And I probably 
you have to thin it out if you're doing this for your baby that drinks out of bottles you might have to thin it out even a little bit more just because it is pretty thick now I'm gonna take some of it or maybe make another batch for the rest of us and what I'll do is soak a couple dates and add the same as before vanilla paste sea salt dates and then cinnamon and it'll be super super creamy and it's really good to make like a steamer where you just heat it up and you can have that at the end of the day or you know something like instead of tea or you can add it to your coffee or you can add it to other tea to make latte so that's that super easy simple homemade oat milk let me know if you try it out